This is the size of a human. Now take that, multiply it by seven and a half million, and that equals the size of Earth. Times that by 22 and a half million, and that equals the size of our solar system. Now take that and multiply it by another three and a half million, and now you have our Milky Way galaxy. Oh, and by the way, there's an estimated two trillion galaxies in our universe. So the question is, are we alone? Regardless, no one should be naive enough to think there is no chance of life outside of our planet. Earth wasn't even fully mapped until 1832. Yeah, that's correct. Less than 200 years ago is the first globally accurate atlas, which didn't even include the polar areas, which is 8% of the planet. That's an A minus for those keeping track. Let me give you a point of comparison. Major League Baseball has been around for 152 years. If you added an extra 37 years of hitting a ball with a stick, humankind would be dead even in knowing the layout of our own home. It wasn't even until 1610 that someone finally realized the Earth revolved around the sun. That someone was Galileo, who was then kept under house arrest until he died for his then declared heresy. So it's pretty clear we're a really reluctant species to anything that alters the way we view ourselves within the universe. So how can we be so confident that humans are the only intelligent life form? This is a conversation we want to open up. Because personally, I'd love to meet an alien, kick back on a rocket ship, and hear some intergalactic gossip about the real space wives of Nebular. But before having that opportunity, we needed to finally stop by the most notorious UFO base location in the world, Area 51. What we expected was to encounter a highly guarded military enforced gate with security surrounding us at all times. And what happened was exactly that, plus us leaving with footage of something we could not explain something that blew our curiosity wide open and led us to interviewing one of the leading UFO specialists on this planet, Luis Elizondo. This is our journey to Area 51 and only the beginning of our quest to meet our interstellar neighbors. What's, What's up? up guys? Welcome back to TFIL. <laughs> 25 weeks. Yeah, keep going, keep, keep, keep going, go, 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 keep go, going, go, Corbin. Go, 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 go. Hey, everybody, we're a little bit sketched out because we are right now on the road leading up to Area 51. And if you don't know what that is, this is like the center of all alien experience, alien anything. everything. Anything you have theoretically. Yeah. 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 yeah, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. allegedly. Yeah. allegedly. Yeah. But down this road is to Area 51, right? Yeah, there's two different known entrances that the yeah. public can get to the guard gate. This is one, the other one is like 25 miles that way. Jesus. We're also gonna try that one. No, we're not. We are, we're gonna try both. <laughs> that was a sketchy we're one, right? well, No, that one's that like, was, yeah. it, you're like not allowed back there. That's the one, no, that's the more popular one. That's the one that's only eight miles on the dirt road and that's where like the Ailey Inn Hotel is. Ooh, okay. So more people go to that one than this one. Wait. This is the one where we're more likely to get into trouble and get into weird <laughs> because there's way less so Wait, is this eight. the road to get to the back of area This is the back door. Yes. Yeah. Are is you that, joking? Yes. We're not allowed to be here. As no, we have a truck back. getting no, closer and closer yeah, to us as we speak. Up. Like, I thought honestly. this was like the main one. No, this isn't the main one. This is the secondary one. We're working our way north. We'll do the other one later. You're like, you're really not allowed to be here. Yeah. You see this truck, right? Like, yeah. It's been getting closer and closer. Well, as yeah, we're that's, how, that's how driving works. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll be spending 24 hours in this area. So starting tonight, and then we'll be staying out here and then also check out the other entrance yeah. and just maximize our time in the area yeah. and see what can happen. Do you guys believe in aliens, by the way? I do. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, it's got, I mean, we. There's no chance you we're the only what? things out you here. Don't you don't know? believe in aliens? No, no. I just think that I think that time is also really, really big as well. So if you take a, the vast amount of time, I, I get what he's saying. You get what I'm I saying. I get what he's saying. I mean, from yeah. the beginning of time, to, it's, a, it's a it's a long story. It's a long I know story. What he's saying. But yeah. they, their lifespan could also be that. Big, That's true. You know? But also, like, when you think of the universe being so infinite, then how come they'd be like right here next to us? You know what I mean? Right. Unless they have like a, I just think like they're so intelligent. Scanner. Yeah, they scan the planet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they they are in trouble. They are destroying. <laughs> But what, Let's go there. <laughs> what if they didn't find our planet? We found theirs. Stop. What if they were here first? Ooh. What if they are Atlantis? Yeah. What if they've been here before us? What if they built the pyramids? And then they create. Stop. That's Ooh. what I'm saying. We don't. Ah, you know, there's a lot of theories out there. Hopefully, we don't get kicked out. I believe almost everyone that ever here after hours gets kicked out. 100%. So, yeah. Look at that. 
Yeah, yeah I know they might be yeah. leaving. They yeah. might have just been kicked out. Yeah. Or, or somebody coming to kick us out before we even get in. Thinking honestly, like why would there? We haven't seen anybody else here, and then we see that car. Wait, what if, what, you know how we see the light? What if it just shoots into the sky? Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. that would blow yeah. my mind. It's still a Prius though. Oh. <laughs> it flies over us. It's a Prius. Wait, that's why we don't hear it. Oh. <laughs> Yep. Maybe that's what it is. But is this the trespassing point? I believe so. I mean, well, look at. I mean, I mean the fact that those lights just turned on over I don't there. Think yeah. They just turned on. I mean, they're gonna. They're starting to move. I think they're gonna come down. Yeah, I oh, don't. Oh, that might be a truck. It yeah. is. Dude, I don't think that this is like even a back entrance to Area 51 anymore for people to go. It's a training range. Like but it, but is this, this do we pass a sign that says no trespassing anywhere? No. I think that's the sign though. But it doesn't say no trespassing. It Wait, says if yes. you're consider trespassing if on the Nevada test site. If you are considering trespassing. If you are considering. Oh, I see. We're not considering trespassing. We just want to get closer to the gate. It says if you're considering it, please consider the following consequences. You'll be required to pay a $1,000 fine. You have your car towed at your expense. You'll have your car impounded at your expense. You'll be brought to Hicko, Nevada to be processed. And once released, you will be responsible for transportation to your next desired travel location. Oh, wow. Why don't we go up to that truck and talk to him? Okay. Those are definitely no, 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 I don't. I, I, <laughs> I, think, I think this is trespassing. Well, I never saw a sign though. Ooh. Well, here we go. Oh, that's oh the no, 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 there you go. Oh, this is the gate I came to, and that definitely has to be a truck. Oh, yeah, yeah. Truck. So, it, so it's basically saying if you go past this, yes. the truck's coming. Yep. He's driving down. All right, we'll turn around then if he comes down here. He's for sure. Oh my god! So that's the game. No is this Area 51? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Look at the truck Evan, to your right. Yeah, look, look at the map. Look at the, the GPS map. The, that's literally the border of the Air Force Base. Wait, shh. He's talking. Did you hear that? No. I thought he said something on the radio. No, he did, he did, he did. I heard it too. I want to read the sign. Also, we got to do our 45 minutes of exercise. <laughs> right here? <laughs> Bro! But technically we're not trespassing right now. Not until you cross that. Dude, but he's, he is up uh, there. No firearms dude. permitted. Bro, is, he is beyond this point. Yeah. I thought there'd be more people here or something. Uh, yeah. This really? Is wild. Yeah. Oh, At nighttime? Stars. I don't think I many mean, people are going to be chilling here. Really? Yeah. What, what do you really want right now? I thought, yeah, I'm filming right now. It says not to. But, yeah, but it's my job. <laughs> It's my it's my job to film right now. As they're listening to you say that, he's seriously. The guy up there on the hill is probably like, I don't think. He just confirmed. He acknowledges he's breaking yeah. the law. Move in, move in, move in. <laughs> we have somebody watching us. It also says like on that sign, it says that they have the ability to come over here and search everything that we have. Does it really say that? Yeah, it says yeah. that. It says yeah. that this installation that all personnel has the ability to search. Wow. Uh, it's under uh, there. All right. Well, if the guy in the truck can hear us, can you please flash your headlights in three, <laughs> two, one? Oh, oh my god, I said my god. I have a little lost. He's just like, alright, I'll do it. Alright. <laughs> this is the last time today. <laughs> that is definitely the lights that we saw when we were at the beginning yeah. of the road. But what was the definitely. truck driving up? Was that yeah, the same? I know there was another one we saw. Unless they were like switching trucks around, like switching shifts or something. Mm. Could have been, maybe. So one was leaving, one was coming in. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, it's 420. Oh. All the hotels are sold out. Yeah. Why are all the hotels sold out on oh, 420 yeah. at, at night, Area 51? Where are all the people? The people Probably gotta be here. Sleeping at the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Eating pizza, it's just like, like chowing. Like 420, I don't know what else they would be doing. It's really 8.30 p.m. Evan's sitting in the car because he's afraid that we're breaking the law, which I don't think we are. Well, when we learned when we leave Evan in the car, that's when he gets in trouble. Read that sign. Read it. It probably says don't walk over. Yeah. It's like, don't read this sign. <laughs> read, read, this sign. read this sign as a federal <laughs> offense. It's a thousand dollar fine. Thank you so much to Bang for sponsoring TFIL, fueling all of our adventures and especially all these long overnight stays. They're the reason why we get to just travel around the world and make these videos for all of you guys. So right here I have Radical Skedaddle. Thank you to you so much for watching. Yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. Bye guys. The car noise? coming up with no lights. All right, yo, get in the car. Oh, what the? What? That's not an. No, it's a car. It's right there. Look, no oh, light. Yeah. Yo, yo, yo. What the fuck? <laughs> what the? Bye. Is it a ranger? No. What the? Yo, we should. What?
Oh, that was a raptor. Oh, dude, no, we literally we that were just was a talking raptor. about driving raptor. to the base. Do you think he works? Yes. At the base? No, 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 no. That was not like that other truck. Yeah. You got you on a leaf. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. Yo, what the? F what just happened? Get the f in, Corbin. I mean, what, what, what the hell? Dude, what if he like, turns like, around and starts chasing us. Oh my god. Dude, that was gnarly. He, he was, was going, going like 50, 60. So quick. With his headlights completely off. And dude, we couldn't see him until he was only a few oh. hundred feet away. I just said wow. I think he's an employee because of how fast he's driving. Yeah. I think he works at the base. Dude, what the f? Jesus. <laughs> Where were you scared? I was scared we were going to get abducted or murdered. Yes. I, I just thought he was going to hit us because I, I knew he couldn't see. Look. What? Look at that. Right there. Evan, you filming? Yes. Yeah. Look. Look over to the left. Behind what? that bush. What? Over there. Holy. Dude. Okay. No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's no way. Oh my god. Dude, what? Dude. What? what? Why are you stopping? That? What do you mean why am I stopping? What if he comes up to the car? What, what is it? Go out! Come on, come on. I don't want to get out! Who is that? What are they doing? They look... What? They look scared. The two of them. The two of them look what? scared, man. All the lights are gone. There's no more trucks. What is that, Elton? Is it purple? Yeah. It looks like a purple. Wait, the guards are gone. What does that mean? Oh, shit. What are they doing? Look, look, look. Look, look. Oh, 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 Yeah. What is that? Oh yeah, you're right. Well, there's like three of them. What the f is move, that? Those move fast, bro. That's what I'm saying. Well, those move so Yo, fast. Yo, look at all of them to the left. Oh, now. Some of them to the left, yeah. What the f Those aren't satellites, man. No, those aren't satellites. Dude, look how fast it's going, starting to go off the map. Wait, why do I feel like if they were planes, we'd hear them? Where is it? Look, going towards that bright look at Look at all of them, look. Look at all of them, dude. Dude! Okay, Evan, can you see that or no? <clears throat> On the camera? Probably not. What the f Dude, we should need out. It's hard to get out, see get out, with our eyes. Wow, there's a bunch of them right there, all moving in our Like, they're in like a big group. What is it? You see like all the little blinking Yeah. Look at, look at oh, all wow. of those. What the f <clears throat> Whoa! There's so many! Yeah, Whoa, dude. look at how fast they just went. Look, dude, they're making a triangle. Yeah, what the Those fuck? three in the front are making a triangle. 
Whoa! Holy, Holy shit. Wait, is there, is, is there any chance that camera can see that or no? No. Oh, that no sucks! Way. No, you have to get this. Hold on. Dude, these are UFOs. Wait a second. Dude! Wow, they, they're blinking Whoa. so erratically. Whoa! Dude, they're oh. in like a, they're like a square now. Do you see now. like five of them? Yeah, dude, they're going crazy. What the f Are they drones? No. Dude, they're, but they're blinking so erratically. Like, they're not in like a flight pattern where oh, it's like blink, blink, blink. Like, they're all over the place. There's dude, five that are them. going together. I can kind of see them on the camera with crazy ISO. Dude, oh. they're going crazy. I mean, that, that whole area is the, like the entire like Nevada nuclear testing site. So they could be flying some crazy pattern, but there's no cloud. I'm thinking like maybe the clouds were breaking up the light. Holy crap, bro. They're right in and front of us. And they're gone. No, look. Look straight ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's still right in front of us. Yeah, but that was like, they were changing shapes. Like they weren't like staying Whoa. in like a nice pattern. Whoa. What? See a shooting star? I don't know if it was a shooting star, bro. Something really it looks fast. exactly like what we were just looking at, but super fast went that way. Yeah, it's got to be shooting, shooting star. Because yeah. there's so, you could see everything right now. Oh, is anybody oh, whoa, look, that? look, look, look. Anybody see that? Whoa! Look. What the f***? What the f***? What is that? What? No f***ing way. What? That's the one, that's the thing whoa. I saw that lit up. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what was that? Oh, look, look, look. Ah. What? What? That's Bro, not what a What are we seeing right Wait, now? Yo, look, it's doing, dude, Evan, that's is like, that showing look, up? Evan. Evan. Oh my God. Hey, is what? it playing on fire? Dude, it, no. no. Doesn't it look like a f***ing disc with lights all the way around? And it was going, boom, boom. Yeah, boom. Dude, wait, what the <laughs> Dude, there's another, wait, look, there's another one over there. Yo, what's dude, this might on? be a f***ing meteor shower. No, 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 that's not a meteor shower. It's way slower. It's too slow. Bro, is the world ending right now and we're catching it on tape? Dude, what is going on? You can hear us. What the f*** is going on right now? Dude, what uh, is moving? I don't care. Now I want to know. I want to be like, yo, what, what are we Wait, look, again, look. Again. Evan, are you getting that? Yeah. Dude, but did you see it? It looked like a plane on fire. Dude, it, it looks like, like something on fire. Dude, you know what it looked like to me? Have you ever seen like the spherical UFOs and they like say there's like a light yeah, like every yeah, yeah. 16th around it? Mm -hmm. It looked like we were seeing like light, 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 and then like half of it was dark. It just, it just, it it just faded it away. Just went away. We may never see this again in our lives. This is crazy. I'm just, this is nuts. There's, Dude, there's what the, no way. The <laughs> there's no way we show up to Area 51 on 420 <laughs> and see a UFO. <laughs> What? People are gonna think we're crazy because I can see the difference between a plane because I can see a plane over there That's a plane. That's yeah, a plane right there. there. And I can see yeah. what a satellite is. Yes, but these things that were but, coming up like, dude, That one right fire. here was huge. The, dude, 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 dude yeah. that the one on fire and it went it was like boom. fire. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 yeah. Boom. That's what it was doing. Dude, I what the f was it? There and try to see another one. That was so wild. Oh my god. I didn't realize people are watching us react and I'm just like over here like <laughs> what the f is that? Crazy. <laughs> There's aliens! Are we about to not clickbait this video? No like, like the overnight air 51. Like literally saw a UFO. Yeah. yeah. No, we saw multiple UFOs. Dude, yeah, because the first one that I saw, that you and me saw, yeah. over the corner of my eye. It was just out there. And Dude, I started thinking like maybe I was crazy. Yeah. But that looked like a plane on fire. It did. And it literally, but it was like Boom. Yeah. Boom. And like, yeah, like, boom. Not it to would, mention, it would light up, yeah. travel, light up, travel. Did you get that on camera? Yeah. Oh, and yes. All, <laughs> and all this time, we have guys from Area 51 just know, watching just us. Just sitting there a quarter mile behind us. They might be doing testing or something at night. Could that be? I mean, yeah, those could have been flares. It could have been. Those could have been like a flare going through. Yeah, and coming down, yeah. Yeah, like. But it was just so short. I don't know. That I was don't think sick. those were flares, dude. That was badass. I don't, I don't know what it was, but no. it was sick. Wow. Holy sh**. No, they were air flares. Can you imagine if we really just got UFO footage? <laughs> Dude, I yeah. know. Do you like non-navy, yeah. not like military grade, just like no. straight up, <laughs> Literally just, just casually went to Air 51, dressed like this, <laughs> and we actually saw, Evan, what do you think? You're the more rational person here. I have no clue what the hell <laughs> Oh my that god. That was weird. <laughs> that excites me. Wait, your hair matches your suit. I just realized that. After going through every rational possibility of what we might have seen in the sky, we decided to go back to our hotel and look for anything on the internet that might be similar to what we saw, which we did. What was it? What did people see? News report after news report spanning decades and continents. This is what caused us to reach out to Lou to get his opinion on what we saw, but more importantly, why we should strive to learn more about the world beyond ours.
What is this material, and why could it shed light on the question of what UFOs might be? So we're at the other gate right now, which is over there to the right, but I don't think Evan wants to pan the camera that way because he's afraid of breaking the law. Come on, Evan. <laughs> so we went over to the other gate. We spent all of last night just like staring up, looking for anything. Yeah. And whatever we caught last night in that moment while we're still half wearing our alien costumes, yep. is still the never, coolest thing. Never happened again. Still the coolest thing we've ever seen. Ever. We, Spent a lot of last night scanning through other articles around the world and like mm -hmm. uh, news reports. Mm -hmm. There are similar sightings of those over the last like 25 years all around the world. Yeah, but there's been, but for the we we were looking up a type of UFO, you know, like fireball type UFO. Yeah, and there's been a lot of sightings of the type of UFO we saw last night. Yeah, like an orange orange ball. Yeah, but it's been like in Miami, it's been like in Houston, Budapest. Where was it? Uh like Hawaii. A or Russian astronaut like found saw it too. And that's all recent. So we're gonna try and actually see if maybe we caught something. Perhaps it's drones, perhaps it's flares. Those were UFOs. We saw UFOs and we may never see that again. Well we're gonna I'm I already sent the footage over to uh, Lou Elizondo who is basically like one of the, the leading experts on this. So he's gonna take a, a look at it and then yeah. I think we're gonna FaceTime him pretty soon Let's so he go. can tell us what he found. So we're actually doing our best to see what we captured. This is an interesting topic to us. I'm so, so excited. I, I cannot wait to hear what he says. Yeah, let us know what you guys think. Let us know if you've seen the footage, watch it back. Let us know what you think it is. Yeah. Just really curious. My name is Lou Elizondo. I'm the former director of the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, a nuanced program yeah, that was uh, in the Pentagon. That program was was focused on looking at UAPs, or in, I guess in the vernacular, UFOs. I think a lot of people are surprised that the Pentagon actually spent time looking at UFOs, um, but now it's become uh, quite public, and uh, we do have a, a UFO program. The name has changed. It's now called the UAP Task Force, but the mission remains the same. Um, I'm a, a career intelligence officer. I left the, the government in 2017. Um, I left primarily out of a frustration due to uh, over secrecy and over compartmentalization of this topic. Most of my time was spent as a uh, as an investigator. Uh, I was a counterintelligence uh, special agent for many years, where I focused initially on things such as counterinsurgency, uh, supporting counter narcotics, and uh, later on counterterrorism and counter espionage. And it wasn't until 2008 that I was brought into this program now known as ATIP where I began to realize uh, the reality of, of, of the UFO phenomenon. I don't know, did you have a chance to look at that little video clip we sent over? I did. Okay. But frankly, we've all had this kind of like subtle interest in the topic, and we're actually finding out that our audience has a more immense interest in this, in this topic than we realized. You know, part, part of the dangers of looking at just a single video is we lose context. Um, you were there, but unfortunately, your audience and I certainly were not. So what we see on the screen is not what you saw with the naked eye. We see maybe a dot or two uh, in the background, uh, whereas, you know, you, you're seeing something with a, a great deal more fidelity than we are. Also, I think it's important because we don't have a context of the lay of the land. We see lights uh, in, a, in a black field, but in reality, we don't know. There could be a mountain back there. And what we're looking at are lights from a cabin or lights from an automobile. Or let's say it is the atmosphere, right? We're looking at there is no landmass back there. And all of a sudden now what, what's happening is we're, we're seeing flares being dropped from an aircraft. Military aircraft do that a lot when they're, when they're doing exercises. Or perhaps you really are seeing something that's, that's quite extraordinary. This is part of the challenges we face every day when it comes to this topic. There's a lot of video out there and a lot of people say, oh my God, I, I saw this most incredible thing. The problem is that the quality of video is, is rarely sufficient to be able to make a, a conclusion. And that's why from a governmental perspective, what helped us was not only the gun camera footage, but also the eyewitness testimony from the pilots and trained observers. In this case, you on the ground saying, oh my gosh, you know, this is pretty extraordinary. And listening to the voices and the inflection of your voices, um, you know, it, it doesn't seem contrived. It seems authentic that you, you're seeing something that you don't understand. Unfortunately, in this case, uh, there's too many unknowns for me to provide any type of, of opinion one way or the other. I'm fairly confident you all saw something um, and, and, and I suspect probably several of you thought it was something very unique and interesting. But unfortunately, it's it's just it's too insufficient 
um, to, to make any type of conclusion. I don't know where you were. I don't know what time it was. I don't know the circumstances and the topography and the lay of the land. I yeah. don't know what direction you were facing. Um, I don't have, uh, I didn't have any software in front of me where I could compare if there were any aircraft in the area at the time. You know, these are all the things that are really, really important when you're trying to collect this evidence, so to speak. With that said, I, I don't want to poo-poo the video because I, I see lots of video like that on a daily basis. And people are, are, are absolutely convinced that they have seen something extraordinary. And in some cases, they, they may very well have, and you may very well have. There's just not enough data for, for me to definitively provide a, 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 an opinion one way or, or the other. We're not you know, naive enough or arrogant enough to think that our you know handheld camera captured remarkable footage. But for yeah. us it sparked an interest in this topic and like a level of, I mean, you heard it, you heard the inflection, like the level yeah. of excitement we had when we maybe saw, even if it was just a flare. So for us, it like out of nowhere, we're like, huh, we're really interested in this now. And then I think like more so, not even necessarily like me and Corey, cause I think we already just have an interest, but why do you think there's, there should be so much importance around people caring and pursuing more knowledge in this area. It, it's real. The, the government has already said it's it's real. Again, what it is, we don't know yet, but it's real. And why we should be paying attention is the same reason why we should be paying attention to anything uh, in our world, whether it's uh, climate change or it's something like the global pandemic involving COVID or anything else. I think whenever you're talking about a capability out there that we, we don't know what it is, we don't know how it works, we have no idea where it's from, and there's not really a damn thing we can do about it. From a national security perspective, that, that's kind of a, a, a scary conversation to have. Let, let me put it to this way, okay? Without going into detail, I don't need to know where you live, but what city do you live in? We're Los Angeles. So you're LA, right? Yeah. Love it. And I, I used to live in California myself. Um, at night, do you lock your front door before you actually go to bed at night? Do you lock the front door? Yeah, let's go 50-50. So on the days that you do, um, I think most people would agree that even if we live in nice neighborhoods, um, we probably lock the front door just to be safe sometimes. And some people may may even go the further step of, of checking the windows to make sure they're locked. And, and some people might even go a step beyond and turn on the alarm system before they go to bed and, and, and they go to sleep. Let's say one morning you wake up. And all of a sudden, there are muddy boot prints in your living room. Nothing's been taken. No, no, nothing's out of place. But despite you locking the doors and the windows and turning on the alarm the night before, there are now muddy boot prints in your living room that weren't there the night before. My question to you is, is that a threat? Well, my response to you is that it could be if it wanted to be, so we should probably figure it out. Uh, I'm not saying these things are necessarily a, a direct threat. The bottom line is we simply don't know. And in the world of national security, for us to make that determination, we look at two things. We look at we look at capabilities versus intent. Well, we've seen some of the capabilities, instantaneous acceleration, hypersonic velocity, low observability, able to fly, positive lift without wings and engines. But we have no idea the threat. We have no idea the intent of these things. So we we can't make we can't calculate whether or not there's a threat because we see capabilities. We have no idea the intent. Our job was to assume things could be a threat until we've proven that they weren't a threat. And and this is no different. Let's take the other side of the argument. Let's say there really is some sort of, of, of game-changing technology that, that that is being used over our controlled U.S. airspace. And this technology is, is thousands of years, potentially, if not millions of years ahead of us from an from a, a evolutionary perspective. What if we had the ability to evolve the human being technologically uh, in one generation. What would normally take us a thousand or a hundred thousand or maybe even a million years to achieve, we can do it in one generation. I think this is a conversation about humanity. I think this is a conversation about national security. I think this is a conversation that, that includes elements both of fear, but also possibly hope and opportunity. And that's why I think we need to ask this question. And maybe it's beyond the United States. Maybe it's beyond national security. Maybe this is a conversation humanity have. Let's bring in the scientists. Let's bring the academics. Let's bring in the philosophers. Let's bring in everybody. There's plenty of room under the tent. Do you think that we are, un unbeknownst to all of us, other countries in the same kind of race where the same way like the United States right, has Area 51, that there are other countries around the world that are also hoarding whatever evidence? Yeah, we know have. that. 
we, 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 we know there's other countries, and I won't get into specifics, but we know there's other countries that are interested in this topic. Corey, do you have, do you have any questions at all? Honestly, dude, I'm just so fascinated right now. I'm kind of getting a little carried away because it got Hi, Corey. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It, but it just got, you know, because us coming into it, you know, we're so unexperienced and we don't we really don't know a lot. You know, all, hey, here's know, Corey, here's a newsflash. No one has experience. Okay, there is no expert in this topic, and that's that's the problem. There, I, I'm not an expert. I I happen to be an investigator. And I had the job, but but there is no expert. Otherwise, we'd all be flying around in these things right now. So so don't let anybody fool you. There, there's no such thing as an expert. I wish the camera could pick up exactly what we saw, because in the sure. beginning it was almost like a, we almost thought it was like a plane on fire, but then we realized that it was just so bright that it was looking like a fire. But then there was only one half of it that was actually lit up. It was just, I've never seen any. So Corey, you're, you're describing what a lot of the pilots describe too. And by the way, these are, these are trained observers. These are guys and gals who are trained to look at, at a SU-22, a MiG-25, a European tornado, or an F-16 from 20 miles away and make a split second decision. Do I shoot it or do I not shoot it? Because it's one of ours. They're reporting these things. It blew. It doesn't have wings. It doesn't have a tail. It doesn't have a cockpit. There's no obvious engine. It's this luminous object in the sky that shouldn't be there. And it's doing things that planes don't normally do. So I get it. I'm, I'm sympathetic to that. I, I This is the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing because the same questions you have and the same yearning for resolution is the same that we're having within the, within the military. This is kind of an unplanned impromptu arrangement of going to, you know, Area 51 and then sure. reaching out to you. But I think in the future, like very near future, we'd like to actually try and make a more thorough documentary-esque, you know, video about this topic. So we'd love to actually be able to join forces with you in person at some point and yeah. maybe be able to yeah. interview and something. Gents, it'd be my honor and privilege. Would love to. I would, I would, have, I would like nothing more than to, to spend some time with you all uh, and, and have a, a more in-depth conversation. Maybe go to some places that uh, are potential hotspots. Mm -hmm. and uh, see if we can you know uh, i don't know see something there's all sorts of technology out there that at some point if you, if you guys are serious we can talk about and and start to field um you know we could put it in a, in a rugged ice container stick it on the back of a jeep and and go camping for two or three days yeah. and you know see what see what you see yeah <laughs> jay's yeah. off camera but very excited right now <laughs> 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 well hey man we we appreciate the time and the information yeah. the knowledge everything but yeah we're, we're excited about this and yeah we'll be in touch really soon yeah guys no sweat my again oh. my privilege happy to do it no worries guys take care have a great evening thank you all right looks like we're going alien hunting everyone they're not hunting we're just searching Mm. It's like that Pokemon game where you take pictures of like wild Pikachus. UFO go. Yeah, UFO go. <laughs>